I remember being uh, woken up by my father-in-law and uh, he was in a panic. And he said, there's a, a mass on Parker. We gotta, we gotta go to the hospital right now. Hi, my name is Crystal Shaw. My name is Dave. We have three kids. We have Parker, Kennedy, and Carson. So Parker was a healthy six-year-old kid. Parker was swinging on the branch of a tree, just all the kids were, and the branch like gave way and Parker hit the back of his left hip on like this stump that was sticking out on the ground. And he complained a little, but nothing major. But then over the course of like the next two weeks, he really started to tell me, Mom, my hip hurts. We went back to school after spring break, and I remember the teacher telling me that he just wasn't acting himself, and I was like, yeah, I kind of feel like that too. And he felt like he had a fever, and so I just took him to the doctor. And that night, um, Dave was actually working night shift at the time, so I was home alone with the kids, um, and my phone rang at like 9 or 9.30 at night, and it was the pediatrician's phone number on my phone. And when I answered, he's like, the labs are showing signs of inflammation or infection in his body. If in the meantime, he gets a fever or any like new complaints, I want you to just pack up and go to the ER. Uh, sure enough, that next morning, Parker woke up screaming and he was burning up. So we went to the hospital. We'll do an MRI from neck to pelvis. We'll see what's going on and we'll kind of go from there. I waited a long time with Parker and you know, obviously my nerves were on edge. And when the doctor finally came in, she had a social worker with her. And I just remember looking at her and saying like, what, what's wrong? And she said, there's a mass on Parker's left kidney. It just didn't make sense. He was running around like a, like a normal kid. And you know, then they come in and tell us, you know, we, we, we found a mass and we suspect that this is a uh, neuroblastoma and we suspect stage four. I remember Dave telling me like, I just want to take him home and like take him hiking or fishing again, because we didn't know if we would get that chance. There's no book, there's no class you could take to prepare you to know how to handle these types of things. We Googled everything. We joined Facebook groups and we, we met a lot of parents and a lot of resources of, uh, that had dealt with this. It was our kid and we were gonna do whatever it takes. I'd met a dad on Facebook who his son had the same cancer and the dad had reached out he kind of led me into what hospitals treat it more than others and where the success rates were. And he kind of led me in in that direction and told me that there's a place in New York. And uh, I run into the hospital room where she's with her dad and Parker. And, and I was like, we got to go pack your bags. We're going to New York. And they were like, you're nuts. <laughs> so we moved to New York. We were on our second round of chemo. We finished round three and four, and then they decided it was time to do surgery to remove his tumor. Uh, they were able to remove Parker's entire tumor. We ended up doing a trial called NK cell with that, where they took 500 million cells of Dave's, his natural killer cells, gave Parker a high dose chemo, and then gave him Dave's cells. And then a week of the 3F8 mouse antibody, which is super painful and hard to see your kid go through. It attacks the nerve endings, which is where neuroblastoma cells are found. 3F8, I remember hurt like a lot. It hurt my stomach. Like I would get a really bad stomach ache and we would try and do therapy through it and just like take my mind off of things. He completed that as well as 14 cycles of radiation. You go twice a day for seven days. Dave did that part of it. I remember the doctor calling me and the doctor said, hey, Scans look good. There's no sign of cancer. Like everything that we that was there is gone. There was an option to do another clinical trial called DFMO, and we knew that the chance of relapse after finishing treatment is also greater than 50% at the two-year mark. And so we decided, like, we can't just be done. And that was a two-year trial, and I believe that was a lot of the reason why Parker was able to stay in remission. I think it's extremely important to fund childhood cancer research in particular, because these are our kids, it's our legacy, you know, and, and we all have a voice and we, we could vote and we could do things, but our kids are relying on us. You know, they're relying on us to be their voice and relying on us to vote for the things and relying on us to, to fund these things. I'm 17 years old, about to turn 18. I'm a senior in high school going into my senior year and uh, I surf like 90% of my life. What I love about surfing is that it just gets me away from everything, everyone. Like, if I have something going on in life, I can just 
go surf and you kind of forget about everything and just it's like very like like the sense of like freedom when I surf.